hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll resume our discussion on biomedical instrumentation so so far in the previous videos related to biomedical instrumentation uh, we discussed about uh, the measurement of displacement in the biomedical field and we discussed some uh, displacement transducers measurement transducers which were based on capacitive techniques, inductive techniques and resistive or potentiometric methods. So we are going to take that discussion forward and uh, in the next uh, two videos we will discuss some more displacement uh, measurement transducers. So in this video we are going to discuss about linear and angular encoders which are based on optoelectronic methods which will be used for measurement of displacement so we know that basically a transducer is uh, or a sensor is a device which performs energy conversion okay so one form of energy into another and basically we want the output to be in electrical form voltage or current so here what we want to measure is displacement and the medium which we are using is optical which means light signals and we want to convert that light signal into suitable electrical signal okay on that basis we will measure displacement so displacement position and motion transducers they are particularly used for the measurement of the size shape position movement of the various organs and tissues present in the human body for example change in the diameter of the blood vessels uh, changes in the volume and shape of the cardiac vessels movement of blood and essential fluids through the various uh, organs and the commonly used transducers which we have discussed up in this point are the resistive methods potentiometric capacitive the variable capacitance transducers the inductive based methods piezoelectric and uh, linear variable differential transformer so linear and angular encoders we will discuss so the linear and angular encoders the optical linear and angular encoders they are used for the measurement of linear and angular displacement okay rotatory and linear motion displacement so the optical setup it consists of a light source a disc or ruler okay circular disc or a straight ruler with digital pattern encoded in it and a photo detector so the encoded discs or rulers they consist of digital patterns which are etched on them okay so the optoelectronic source is uh, like any other source which produces light okay it generates the optical signal and it can be anything a light emitting diode or laser light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so we have discussed about these things in the optoelectronics uh, devices and systems so you can check all the videos related to that in that playlist so the optoelectronic source it produces the light okay here the light source produces the light then we have is a disc or a ruler in this case this is for linear movement so here this ruler this moving ruler it moves it consists of various patterns okay that are etched on it so what happens is that these patterns they either block or transmit light okay so when light falls on these uh, figures or these patterns they can either block or trans allow light to pass through so here the light source is focused on this moving ruler and depending on the digitally etched pattern the optical pattern light is either allowed to pass through or it is blocked 
in this case it is blocked and no light signal is reaching the photo detector but in this case the pattern this hole you can say uh, it is allowing light to pass through it is not actually a hole but it is some kind of a digital pattern it, in simple way I am trying to make you explain here but here in actual the patterns they are very complicated very complex in their design so the light source sends the light signal depending on the design the pattern which is etched on the ruler the light signal either gets blocked or is transmitted and reaches the photo detector so the photo detector or the optoelectronic detector it receives the light signal and reconverts it into electrical usable electrical form the voltage or current commonly used photo detectors are photodiodes, photovoltaic detectors, photoelectric detectors, photomultipliers, anything can be used. So this is for linear movement. So this, uh, this point, okay, this moving ruler is connected to the source of displacement, okay, it is connected to the source. Please forgive my handwriting. I'm uh, just getting started with this. Okay, so it is connected to the source of displacement, and when that point moves, uh, this ruler also moves along with it. So, when the ruler moves along with it, the light signal will either get blocked or it will get transmitted. So, this will produce an electric signal. Similarly, for rotatory movement, a rotating disc is used, okay, with digital patterns etched on it. This is a simple pattern which I have shown. In reality, the patterns, they are very complex in their design. So again, this rotating disc, it is connected to the source of displacement, okay. So this rotating disc, some point, it is connected to the source of displacement and when that source it can be anything organ movement body movement anything when that that part of the body it moves this rotating disc also moves and depending on that and because of that the light signal either gets blocked or it gets passed through and as a result a signal is produced when it reaches the photo detector okay so this is uh, the linear encoder okay straight movement straight line movement and this is the angular encoder which is the rotatory movement circular movement so after the signal uh, from the photo detector which uh, produces the equivalent voltage or current signal it is passed through further signal conditioning circuitry amplification frequency response matching linearization of the output uh, and if it is a passive uh, component providing the necessary uh, power for all the, op the circuit components to work and everything is done the all the essential functions of signal conditioning and today everything is digitized so analog to digital conversion block is also present to convert it into digital form sampling quantization encoding and then finally we get the readout the value so in uh, rectilinear we can get output in terms of uh, you know velocity depending on the how many number of uh, signal is produced per second or per minute anything and here it, it can be in form of uh, rpm rpm or uh, revolutions per minute or per second basis so or rotations so for angular uh, the rotatory movement plays the role in either the light signal is getting transmitted or blocked and here the straight line movement so this is the basic principle of displacement measurement with the help of optical linear or angular encoders okay so this is how a typical linear encoder a simple design uh, a linear encoder looks like and this is how a rotatory angular encoder looks like 
the design can be very complicated also so the linear and angular encoders the optical linear and angular encoders the patterns which are etched on the disk or the ruler uh, here i have explained it in a simple way that uh, when light or from the source it passes through this pattern which allows it to transmit it it reaches the photo detector and in some cases it gets blocked same as for angular encoders but in actual the patterns which are formed on the disks or the rulers they can be different they can be different in their design for example in this way here the black portions they block light and the other regions they allow the uh, allow light to be transmitted similarly here the black portions they block light and the remaining portions they allow light similarly several kinds of patterns can be formed on disks also which allow and block the uh, light to be passed through it so different patterns different uh, ways of uh, you know uh, light patterns are formed which is captured by the photo detector okay so this is the signal conditioning circuitry so this is the optical or opto electronic based linear or angular encoder okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much